What is up guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're going to be doing something a bit different. Um, it is Roblox related, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to get um, Roblox addresses, but specifically the print address um, for a C++ exploit. So I already have a um, IMGY uh, little thing loaded up here, uh, just a DLL that can be injected. And um, here we have just a blank thing for an R print statement. And this is our address that we need to put here. And then whatever this does is I just have uh, just types with if statements with just output different things. So it'll output it as, uh, you know, one, two, three, or zero. Zero is print, obviously, three error. Uh, and the rest is pretty simple, which just appear as something different to Roblox. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to need is, for, firstly, you're going to need IDA Pro and um, PE tools. PE tools for finding the process and dumping Roblox and IDA Pro for uh, finding the actual address. So we're just going to start with PE tools here. We're just going to open up PE tools. Um, and if it gives you this error, just hit OK. You know. Um, and I'm also just going to real quick open up a Roblox game. Okay, so once Roblox is open, what you're going to want to do is go to view and then refresh process list and let it do its thing okay so now that you refresh the process list you're going to want to there should be two robloxes and the thing is one is actually just a client so that's the place where you launch games from and one is the actual engine which is what i'm playing it with right now so um what you what you want is the engine to find the print function and uh the engine should be the top one uh and the image size should, uh, it, it probably will change every update, but um, yeah, so you'll, you'll have your process ID here and make sure the 32 bit uh, processes. So it's probably gonna be the top one, um, but it kind of just depends. So I'm gonna go with the top one here and we're gonna dump uh, full. And I'm just gonna put it in our, in just a folder I made for dump applications. Um, so, I just have a folder here and I'm just going to rename it to dump to Roblox and save it. And once it's uh, dumped, you can just close out PE tools. And the next thing we're going to do is open up our IDA Pro. So you're going to open up 32 bit I, uh, IDA Pro. <coughs> and once it's open, we're going to go to our dumped applications and drag in our dumped Roblox. So by the size, you can kind of tell um, it's a pretty big size, 82 megabyte, 88 megabytes. I mean, so uh, by the size, you can tell if it's the engine or not. And uh, right here should be the deciding factor. If it takes a bit of time to load, and if you have uh, VMP here, uh, it's protected by VM Protect. That's why there's a VMP. So um, that would that's kind of how you know it's the engine. And then you can also see that it still has all this unexplored data to go through. So we don't really care about that. We're just going to rebase this. So edit, uh, we'll go to agnet segments and rebase. <clears throat> so, so we're just gonna rebase this with uh, just, you know, uh, this value. Um, so let's just rebase this and let it do its thing. It's going to take a while. Oh, not really. That could take a while. It's going to take just a little bit. Um, just wait for it to do its thing. And if it changes the rebase value to uh, that, it's fine. It'll, either way, it should work. Um, it might stop responding. Just let it keep going. So once all your segments are moved, you should notice all your functions appear and stuff. Um, we don't really care about any of this right now. Uh, we're just going to open our sub view and head to our strings and what why we're getting our strings is because um, I'm just gonna show you in game while this starts generating um, in Roblox if you actually hit f12 and then hit f12 again and we hit f9 you're gonna see that it will actually print um, recording uh, started and recording stops for if it gets stopped so um this is obviously um, Holy, holy shit. Okay, my bad, guys. 
Anyways, um, this is obviously uh, indicating that whenever we hit it, it's sending a uh, sending you know a signal to the game's memory to print you know print this out. So this is what we want to utilize, and uh, the fact that it's a string makes it even easier and better to find. So um, finding for generating the lists of strings, it's gonna take a while, especially because it has 88 megabytes of data to search through and finding all the strings. But you'll see this little arrow here, and once this gets to this part, the black part, that's when you know it's done. So, like I said, just let it do its thing, and it's about to get there. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we're going to hit Control F, because we're going to find that video uh, recording. Yep, okay, and then we have two strings. Uh, either one works, but uh, for this purpose, we're going to use the recording started, so we're just going to go double-click it. Okay, and you should see... Uh, that we now have our video recording re, uh, video recording started. So we're going to click on this function right here and hit X. And we're just going to hit OK. And this will actually bring us to the offset. Um, you're going to hit Tab and then hit Yes and then hit OK. And this will bring us to the uh, pseudocode for it. And um, the pseudocode will actually tell us the address um, here. So you'll see that uh, very similar to the code that I showed you, voice crack, <laughs> very similar to the code that I showed you here. You have uh, your one for uh, info, two for warn, uh, three for error, and zero for print. And if we actually look at the pseudocode here, you'll see that it it is one. And we know that one means info. And if I actually check our console here, you'll see that it is info. This is the info uh, look for printing. So we know that it's printing. It's This is the... Uh, this is the arguments that it's taking in so we can assume that this sub and then this value right here is actually our address so um, I'm gonna show you guys a before and after real quick so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna go ahead and build the solution here okay and there's our solution and we're gonna head to the solution here and hit control X on our keyboard and I'm just gonna direct this to my injector you guys obviously don't have this but I'm just showing you guys um, for some reason it got fucked by my antivirus hold up all right i just added it back so now we're gonna go ahead and inject and this is my injector that i made so um anyways you guys won't have this but i'm just gonna show you this for an example so if we see uh oh it's injected okay so if we hit end on our keyboard you'll see that we have our my on gui program i made and if we hit print it will crash and the reason it will crash is because we don't have the right address so if we go ahead and put our address in here First, let's go to ID Pro, and we're going to copy that. You know what's copied if it turns yellow. Okay, and we're going to obviously start it off with 0, x0, zero, and then paste in our value. Okay, so now that we have the valid print address, make sure you have 0x0, zero, zero, or else obviously it's going to be invalid and it's going to crash again. We can build this again, and once we build it, we can go back to our... Uh, here and then we can get rid of this old DLL and input the new one. And uh, what we need to do is it already crashed, so we actually don't even need to close the game. Let's head to our injector and let's re inject. Okay, and now that we have re injected, oh, this is a uh, visual bug to do with the DX9 render, but. There we go, it's fixed. Okay, so, um, okay, yeah, we're just not going to worry about this. Okay. Uh, anyways, so now if we hit the print test, obviously these work too, but if we hit print test, you'll see that it looks like it's not crashing, right? And this is actually because if we hit F9 on our keyboard, hold up, there we go, you'll see it says printed from DLL. Okay, so if we hit print, it says printed from DLL because we now have the valid um, print function, All right? So that's practically how you um, get the, not the print function, sorry, the print address. I don't know why I said that. That's actually how you get the print address um, using IDA Pro and uh, PE tools and also a little tutorial on how to dump Roblox. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.